Okay, here I am before I get my hair done. Oh my God, look at them roots, they're terrible. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Debsy and place to be, it's Debsy. That's me, boop, Debsy. Hey guys and happy Tuesday everybody. Um, you did not get a video from me yesterday because I got my hair done and then I came home and I slept and I watched TV and I read and it was fantastic. So let's first of all get into it. As you can see from my video before this video, my hair was looking kind of raggedy. So here we go. I got this all covered up. I was going to go a little lighter in the color, um, but from what I understand, from what Tony said, I can't just, you can't just immediately go like real light, real light brown. So the next time I go in, she's gonna make it real light brown. So, but look, look at those colors. Whoa, look at those colors. So I kept my, um, I kept my pink, but I thought maybe it would be fun to add in some blue. So I am summer cotton candy. I think that's what Tony called it, summer cotton candy. So here it is. She is refreshed. I just got a little bit of a, um, little bit of a um, trim. I didn't get a lot off, so there we go. So that, that is my hair. Now, I thought today I could do a little bit of a haul video. As you know, this week is my summer vacation week. And every year, actually twice a year, me and my mom go on a shopping spree. We usually go to one of the two um, shopping outlets in the area. We either go up to um, Grove City, which is about a little over an hour up north from where we live, or we go to Washington, not DC, Washington, PA, and we go to Tanger's Outlet. Well, today we ended up going to Grove City. So I thought that I would maybe do a little haul of what we got, of what I got. Um, we dropped Jack off at Walker's Pet Hotel on 22, Route 22 in Murraysville. And we, when we picked him up, they said he was such a good boy that he played with all the dogs and he was very good. So, so happy, so proud of him. So I thought I would go through and do a little haul of what I got. I will say I was a little disappointed in um, the number of stores that are up there. There were quite a few stores that were gone. Um, and there was a, a, quite a bit of empty spaces up there. So, I didn't get as much as I thought I would, but I got some things that I needed and some things that I wanted. So let's start off. I always go to Bath and Body Works because why not? They always have a sale. When I went in, it was, everything was on sale. But then when I got up to the cash register, I told the lady it was my birthday week and my birthday was on Friday. And she gave me, I believe she gave me 10% more of a discount because she said, well, we're gonna have to give you another discount. So what I got, I got this strawberry pound cake body spray um, and it smells like, oh, oh, that smells nice. Very refreshing, very summery. So I got that. I also got this moisturizing body wash. It's called Among the Clouds and it smells, it smells nice. Here's the thing. I love, I prefer the moisturizing cream body wash from Bath and Body Works over their shower gel um, just because I feel like it lasts longer and it's more moisturizing. Plus it's just a bigger, it's a bigger, a bigger container. So I got this, I got, oh, okay. I got, this was on sale. And from what I understand, um, this was not on sale yesterday. I went up at just the right time because it was on sale today. So I got this 
and it is Sparkling Orange Spritz Bath and Body Works, summer 2023. So it's very, mm, it's very light and bright and summery. And I got the matching Sparkling Orange Spritz. So there's that. I think I got, and I had gotten two, two of those. Um, and I also got their, one of their perfume sprays and it's from their pride collection and it is a love always wins because listen, it does always love who you want to love, be who you want to be. As long as you're being authentic, you're not hurting anybody. You're not hurting yourself and you're being, and you're happy love who you want to love. So that was my haul from Bath and Body Works. Um, and like I said, everything was on sale, but anytime you go there, everything is always on sale. I also got from, I stopped at Vera, oh, I stopped at Vera Bradley, hello Vera. And I got a couple things there. Um, they had sent me, Vera Bradley had sent me a 25% off coupon. No, let's re-say that. A 25% off coupon. Yes. That's the thing. Listen, I know the correct way to say C-O-U-P-O-N is probably coupon. I can't stand it when people say coupon. So I have to say coupon. I got two things and I, both of the things I had gotten match my crossbody purse. I got from Vera Bradley that I get compliments on constantly. And it is, first of all, I got this wallet. Um, I does, it doesn't say how much this one was. Um, so I got this wallet, it opens up, it has some nice that in there for your money and for your credit cards. But then it has this little latch and you open it up and you can put your stuff in here as well. So I got that because like I said, it matches. I have my crossbody that I use all the time and it matches it perfectly. I also had gotten this nice big cosmetics bag. Inside it is, see, it is um, lined in plastic so that maybe if something spills, you can just wipe it off. This, now let me just tell you, this was originally $55, but all totaled between the two of these, I paid $47. And then I rounded it up for um, breast cancer and I paid 48. So I paid $48. This was originally 55. So there we go. I love those. Okay. Next up, I went to, I think it's called Leanna's, Leanna's Books. And I got two books. I got, it happened one summer. Um, it was 10% off. And this is, it sounds like this is just a, um, like a rom-com, like a chick lit. So I bought this. And I bought Never Never by Colleen Hoover. Um, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm going to give Colleen Hoover one more shot because I read Verity and I, I, it was unnerving, but I liked Verity a lot because it's like a psychological thriller that makes you say, what the fuck is going on? Um, I then read, I then read it starts with us or no, it ends with us. And I didn't like it at all. Like I didn't finish it. I just, I know everybody loved it and everybody loves Colleen Hoover and everybody loved that book and then loved the follow-up. I am one of, I think only like two people in the world that just didn't like it. I didn't even finish it. So I'm going to give this one didn't sound, um, this one didn't sound too bad. So I'm going to give this one a shot. I typically read my books on, I download them on Kindle. However, I was up there and I thought, why don't I get it? I think out of the two, I think I'll probably read this one first. Um, so I got two books 
And I have to tell you, this was the this was the nice thing. I loved hearing this. I was in the bookstore and I saw two teenager, two teenage girls. And I heard the one say, say to her friend, I'm so glad that we're, I'm so glad we're here. This is my favorite place. This is my favorite store. And the other one said, this, I know this is my favorite place to be. I'm so glad that we came here. And it made me so happy to just hear young girls being excited about reading and being happy to, to be in a bookstore and, and be reading and be, and be falling in love with reading. Because when you, when you become a reader, it just, it, it adds so much more to your life. So I was so happy when I heard that. So next, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to show you guys this, um, because listen, it's bras. I'm not going to show you guys bras. Um, I got, uh, listen, I don't know. It was probably a good deal, but it was latex bras that would be originally like $46. And I got, I got eight, I got almost $20 off of them. Listen, if you're a plus size woman and you need bras, um, and you need a band size that is hard to find, then listen, when I can find them and I can find them at a discount, because if you go, if you go, if you're a plus size woman and you go to like Lane Bryant or something, it's, it's expensive. It's real expensive. And sometimes it's difficult to find your band size. So I went to Hanes where they sell, um, they sell Champion, um, Bally, Mainform, Playtex. Um, I also went into Torrid and Torrid is Torrid is really hit or miss with me. I know my friend Kristen Burns um, loves Torrid and she finds a lot, she finds a lot of things. I have never had that great, um, that great of, of luck with them. Um, I went in, I saw this one t-shirt and it was um, Stevie Nicks. Love Stevie Nicks. And I thought, oh, I'm definitely gonna get that. Well, of course, they had two, two left. One was the size that I probably would have fit in when I was 10 years old. And the other one was way, way too big. So I didn't get anything there. Um, the last place that we went that I got anything was, there's this place called um, Chocolate Moonshine Company. And it's local up there. They have all kinds of chocolates. They have amazing fudge. Um, they have sipping chocolate, I think, but they also have these different flavors of iced teas that they mix up up there and you can get it sweetened however you want. I didn't get a lot of sweetener in mine and it was like a mint tea. Oh, it was so good, but I ended up getting these. I get these every time we go over. They're illegally good. They are milk chocolate bourbon black cherries. Listen, they don't have any, I don't think they have any bourbon in them. Um, no, because the bourbon has cooked off. So, and then I also got these milk chocolate covered gummy bears just to try them. And let me tell you, they are tasty. Um, am I supposed to be watching? Yes. Um, am I? Yes, except for this week, I might break it a little bit. So, <laughs> but these were really, these were very good. I get these every time I go up because these are excellent. But the woman had said that these are good on top of ice cream and these are good when you mix them in with popcorn. That would be good. So maybe I will do that during one of the nights this week because this week I have been taking in some of my favorite movies that are like, that not a lot of people have seen. Um, I watched um, what was it? I watched Drop Dead Gorgeous, and I also am going to watch Center Stage. So, that was what I got today. We went for, um, we stopped off for lunch, and I had got, I had gotten a, um, Charlie's 
Charlie's um, Philly cheesesteak sub. I used to get those, not all the time, but I used to get them more often because we had it in the food court at work, but work from home now. And my mom had gotten a stromboli with, what was it? It was with spinach, spinach and cheese. So it was, it was a really nice day. It was, it was, it got warm. It got real warm. And we were walking around for about four hours. I brought my roller up with me. Um, but it was, it was fun. It was really nice. And I just love spending time with my mom. So she had a good time. So I thought I would do a little haul and show you guys everything that I got. Um, and I will see you, I will probably see you tomorrow either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, and Dolly and I are going to be going on a culinary tour of, I'm not going to tell you where, but you'll find out. So with that being said, I hope, um, everybody was, is having a great, is having a great week so far, has a great rest of the week. If nobody told you yet today, I love you, your love seen and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there. And please, Make sure to spread kindness and acceptance and treat everyone the way you would want to be treated. And I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.